wanted to jump in and do an Esborn book haul for you guys. Um, I did a Facebook party and had the best time. It was the easiest thing I've ever done. And I earned so many free and half price books. And in the middle of the party or like towards the end of the party, I decided to become an Usborne rep because I was like, I could not narrow down my wish list, y'all. Like it was bad. And um, it was so easy to join. So like no pressure, um, no minimums, whatever. So I am now an Usborne rep. And um, so if you want to do a party with me, uh, for sure get in contact with me. It's all through Facebook. So very easy um, online super low key, but I wanted to, I just got my my books in that I earned um, for my party. And so I just wanted to go through and show you guys. So this is just gonna be like a little like a Sporn haul unboxing. So we'll get started. Okay, so a lot of the, most of these were free. I, ha I earned $300 in free books. So I could choose like $300 worth of free books, not pay a dime. And then I think I earned $200 in half price books. So I could choose um, books that would equal $200 retail and then I only paid $100 of that. Does that make sense? So um, that's kind of, I, I'm not gonna get into like the specifics of like which ones are free, which, what, what, like you'll see the amount, like it's a lot. Um, and so I was super pumped and so excited to add to my collection. And I, that also helps me explain these books to people as well, whenever I'm helping them. So in no particular order, um, I got the set of extreme adventures and these are all still like in the packaging, but, um, the extreme adventure series is part of the bear grills, um, series that us is doing now. And look at all these, it's just a bunch of great chapter books and, Obviously, boys or girls would enjoy these, but I do think that um, little guys would just really, really love these. Um, they're adventure-based and um, just, you know, rescue and like all this. So I'm gonna, uh, these are not my son's reading level yet. He is first grade, um, but these will be really good to read aloud to him. So the Bear Girls series, um, this is a set a great set of phonics readers and it has let's see how many titles 20 titles y'all um super cute and as a homeschool mom like this is just awesome and super exciting for me um and i thought i was really good open and i can't but they're just they're good little size readers and um i'm really excited about these i wish i could get them open but uh, the phonics readers so that's a whole, whole little set there of Onyx readers. This is the Get Ready for School Wipe Clean Activity Pack. And my kids already love the Wipe Clean series. And um, these are like the miniature version that you can use to, you know, for school prep. So there's the Alphabet, uh, Wipe Clean 1, 2, 3, First Letters and ready for writing. And so it comes with a little marker and then you can just literally wipe it clean after you've done the activity. So normally my five-year-old is starting, we're, we're doing pre-K stuff with our homeschool. And so I got these with her in mind because this will give her something fun and engaging to do while the others are doing their lessons. That's fun. Okay, look inside books. Y'all, these are so fun. I love, look, look inside, peek inside, and see inside are the phrases that Usborne uses for like their Lift the Flap series. So this is look inside space. And my kids are so into space right now. Is that like a trend? I don't know, but like, um, I feel like so many kids are into space. It says contents, blast off, the moon, um, space station, bright starlight, glittering galaxy, stargazing, and space questions. So like, look, you can look at the space station. I just think that's really awesome. And my kids love lift the flap. doesn't matter. Like they ranged from nine down to infant and they all love lift the flap. So, um, I was really excited about finding one for space. Um, this is the never get bored book and this is super fun. It comes with a little elastic. I really am seeing these for the first time as I'm opening these up. Solve mysteries. Like it's just like little activities. 
say hello find out how to say hello and goodbye in lots of different languages so it's like teaching them things and it's a combination of different kind of activities how to fold a boat um so this would be great you know like when you're hearing your kids be like i'm so bored Meh. then like be like here you go okay this was one that i was so excited about americanly um i was like what is that it says i love you americanly and this is such a cool concept uh, it's about, it uses very descriptive language. So you're, you're modeling, you know, descriptive words for your kids. Um, just for example, I love you colossally like the high cascades. I love you bountifully like the Everglades. And it's going through different parts of the United States. Like I, I love America y'all. This is so fun. I love you intensely like Niagara Falls. So when you're reading this to your kids, it's like, this is how much I love you. I love you this much. But you're learning about the United States and about like creative language. I just think that is genius. Like, it's just awesome. So yeah, this is one, like, I didn't expect to love this as much, but as I'm going, like, I read the description, I was like, that is awesome. But then now that I'm opening it, it kind of makes me want to cry. <laughs> okay, this is one that I chose because I saw like, a YouTube video from another Us Born rep and she was talking about this, the Us Born Illustrated Alphabet. And she talked about how it really is like, comes in this like slip case. She's like, it's a beautiful book that your kids will want to keep. And she's right, y'all, that's gorgeous. It's like a cloth cover. And it's just like, oh, it has a really cute little like ribbon bookmark. The infant iguana was ill with an itch. That's so cool. It looks like it's two pages per letter, which is really cool. Like, look at those pretty illustrations. I love that. That's awesome. So that's really pretty. The Usborn Illustrated Alphabet. It's a good one. And it comes with its own little thing. Um, okay, the That's Not My series. Okay, I got one of these in my Usborn welcome kit, like for signing on as a rep. And I wasn't sure what the That's Not My series was because I heard people like rave about it. But I was like, what is it? Um, and what it is, it's touchy feely books. Okay. And there's just diff a ton of different animals, objects, things like that's not my mermaid. That's not my unicorn. Um, and I got, that's not my kitten because my girls are super into kittens. And it's so simple and I love this because my five-year-old has already memorized that that's not my unicorn book that I got and it's such a good skill like in learning to read and like you know literacy um and she's already memorized it but it's super cute that's not my kitten its tongue is too fuzzy and you can feel the little tongue isn't that cute and it's just real simple um but very like graphically illustrated, like good bold graphics. And um, that's not my kitten. Its tummy is, oh, that's, yeah, that, that is my kitten. That's my kitten. Its tummy so fluffy. At the very end, it says, that's mine. And um, you get to feel that last little page. So um, this is one of like a ton of that's not my, but uh, I went for the kitten one because my girls love kittens. These are super cute. This is um, Happy Baby. Baby's very first little black and white library. Luke is about three and a half, almost three and a half months old. And so I wanted to get him some little black and white books because that's easier for them to see. So you can see, um, super simple again, but that's what their little eyes can handle. You know, their little brains are developing like crazy, but um, this is what they're able to see the best and enjoy. So I thought he would like that. Okay. This is the Usborn Illustrated Fairy Tales. And the, this is a good thick book, kind of a padded cover. Um, it says, open these pages and enter an enchanted realm of proud emperors, pretty princesses, helpful fairies, and magical animals. Um, this charming collection contains 10 classic fairy tales by the Brothers Grimm, Hans Christian Andersen, and others. And like, it's just super, super, oh, I love these illustrations. Sleeping Beauty. Oh, these are pretty. Look at that, look how pretty. 
just real pretty illustrations. Is that focusing? Yeah. Um, and it looks like, you know, there's a good, you know, ratio of words to pictures there. It keeps them engaged. Um, and I, I love the concept of introducing them. It looks like there's different styles of illustration. So like Little Red Riding Hood is a little more cartoony. So that's interesting. Different kind of types of illustration. I love that. Oh, the girls will love that. So that's a, that's a lot of bang for your buck. That's like a thick book and really pretty. Okay, so Lindley, um, my five-year-old little girl, loves puzzles. She is obsessed with puzzles. So I got her book and puzzle, the Usborne Book and Jigsaw Puzzle Cinderella. So this, is, this comes with a puzzle and also a little book. And I think she's going to love that. And I, I, do you see what I mean about the illustrations? They're just beautiful and rich. Just like really saturated colors. And it's just beautiful, beautiful stuff. Okay, this is a newer one um, that Usborne came out with here and there. And it says, learn about people here, there, and everywhere. And I love the kind of vintage style retro illustrations on this. Um, but it's, it's all about how things are in other parts of the world. What about, how do you celebrate the new year? How do other cultures, you know, celebrate the new year? And it goes through other countries and it just shows you, it talks about it, exercising, nature, festivals, getting around. How do people get around in these other places? So this is awesome. I mean, it's an educational tool, but it's also, again, a beautiful book and it's just, it's entertaining. Like it's neat to learn about that, but it's done in a really like, I love the illustration style. That's really cool. Here and there. Okay, these were two, again, apparently these were newer um, in the most recent release. But these two journals, No Worries and Hello Happy, and these are, um, how do I put it? It's a mindful journal, um, an activity book for young people who sometimes feel anxious or stressed, an activity book for young people who sometimes feel sad or angry, and um, I think this is a neat way to help kids kind of get their thoughts on paper, sort through some things that they might be feeling. Um, like, like, for instance, great gifts. This is in the Hello Happy. Take some time to think about the people, pets, and special friends you love and who love you. Who would you like to thank in your life and why? And it says to and because. So focusing on gratitude, um, helping them kind of shift those thought patterns, I think it's really neat. And you can tell that so much thought went into these. Like how to help, really, what's going to be the best activities to help kids um, sort through these feelings and especially for kiddos that might not have a good outlet, you know, in talking to someone, I think this is, this could be a life-saving tool y'all. I mean, not to get too deep, but I mean, I think this is so valuable, um, for children. And I got these, you know, both out of curiosity and saying like, you know what, I, I would love to be able to hand my kids this tool if they need it. So that's neat. Um, and looking through it, I can just tell, Empty your mind. When your mind is empty, think about your five senses. Um, supposed to fill in the sentences below for each sense. I smell, I hear, I feel. Um, and you know, empty your mind completely by just looking at this spot. Write down what you feel. Be present in this moment. You know, and it doesn't seem because I, sometimes I am like, oh, I don't want something like too like new agey or like meditate or whatever. But th this seems very good as far as like not to, you know what I'm saying, not to like out there, but it still is helping them get in touch, um, you know, or, or helping them come up with some exercises that might help. So that's, that's cool. I like those too. Okay, so we already have the Pilot Academy and the Doctor Academy book um, books. And I, I got Architect Academy because Evie saw this in the catalog. She's nine and she wanted to learn about this and you know, drawing to scale. You know what it goes it goes through like a series of like little classes you know each page or chapter is like a class um and it's talking about what architects do and how they do their thing um and then kind of branching into interior design which that's my jam because that's what i studied in college but uh, i love it i love i love that they you know they know that kids are capable you know what i'm saying like they say like kids are capable of learning about architecture at a young age they're capable of learning about the medical field you know and they they don't even dumb it down it's just it's like here's 
you know what you're doing. Um, we own Coder Academy um, for coding. I didn't even know that was a thing. I did not even know that coding was like a big thing for certain kids. Abby didn't either, but she is so into it now. And we saw this page like binary code. And I was so proud of myself, y'all, because I learned how to do binary code. And I was like, I feel so good about myself. But it's neat. Like, you're learning all these different things that even as an adult, you know, you'd be interested to learn about. It's really cool. Okay. So this is all better. And this is like the glasses book. Little Baradine's glasses. We have that one. It came in my uh, starter kit. And we are obsessed with that book, especially my five-year-old. She loves it. And this, two, three, four, where's the fifth one? Did it come out? I'm looking for the fifth bandage because it's supposed to have five. Hmm, I'll have to find it. <laughs> Maybe it felt, oh, oh, it's right here, duh. Um, five bandage stickers, I think. This, yeah. So look, okay, so this is how it works. You like can pull, and it's not like a traditional sticker, but all you have to do, like if it ever stops sticking, is re-wet it, but it sticks back on. Like it just sticks to any flat surface. So look at this, look how cute. So there's five bandages, and you go through, and these different animals get boo-boos, y'all. Is that not the cutest thing? And so you take the little, the little bandage, and you look, kiss it, put a bandage on it. All better, and like you put, so cute i'm obsessed obsessed okay this is another one that i saw on a consultant video and i was like gotta have that this is the pullback busy train book and it comes with a little train like a pullback you know like pull it back let it go type thing but then look it has a track that has tracks built into the book so you can put it on here and then watch it go how do you get the thing out? Oh, <laughs> like that. So I'm gonna see if I can do this. So you like put it on here. This may be really awkward doing this one. Okay. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? Oh my gosh, it's falling. So cute so yeah look the little train comes with it and that would keep them busy for ages y'all like you just lay that flat like here's another this busy train like a, a different types of settings and tracks oh that is so cute busy train book I'm a fan okay the s form fairy tales for bedtime this is a kind of a thinner book beautiful illustrations though and I'm looking Cinderella yeah so this one has more text. This is more like, this is a good read aloud, probably. I mean, not as, there's still really pretty uh, illustrations, but they're gonna need to, you know, like focus in a little more, listening to, to what you're saying, rather than having a ton of pictures to look at, it looks like. Snow White. Yeah, that's cool. Um, fairy tales for bedtime. Okay, I got a couple of slide and see books because again, for Luke, I wanted him to have these. So slide and see is a whole series of books that Esborn has and you just slide it. Um, so I got the slide and see farm. So you say, ah, and then ref as they pull that down. And I'm noticing, this is so cute. That is so cute. Um, it's easy for little fingers to, like, there's a little hole, and, like, little fingers can just, right there, and, look, the milk. As they're milking the cow, the level get, it gets higher. That is so cute. And, look, the tractor. Isn't that neat? It's really easy little mechanisms, but so cute for kiddos. So, I got the farm, and then I got, of course, because, like, I'm obsessed with all things Christmas all the time, I got the baby's first slide and see Christmas. Gosh, okay, look, you have the um, the Christmas tree, and look, you turn on the Christmas lights, y'all. Yeah, I I'm all about this. Like, we're gonna be reading this all year round at the Lancaster House. So cute, so cute. Okay, this is the Usborne Little Peek Through books. 
So this is cool because it has those layered kind of cutout style pages. Are you there, little bunny? And so you can kind of see through, like as you're reading, it has little cutouts. So it kind of leads them, you know, to be interested in the next page. That's cute. It's a good little size for little hands. I like that. Okay, this is one of the touchy feely books for babies. That I got, look how cute and colorful that is. Uh, babies for very first touchy feely lift the flap playbook. And so this has really cute little lift the flaps. And they can do that. And there's also touchy feely. So there's like a, like a fluffy little cloud. So I like that because there's more than one like thing to be interested in. Like here's a little fishy fish scale, but then there's also the lift the flap. That's neat. I like that. That's about the best of both right there. Okay, the, I got this for, with Liam in mind, the Illustrated Adventure Stories. And again, this is like the illustrated, what was that? Fairy Tales for Bedtime maybe? What was that one that I just talked about? It's, it's the similar style, like same kind of puffy cover. And it looks like, okay, yeah. Three Musketeers, Count of Monte Cristo, Don Quixote. So they, they're class, it seems like it's classics, but they're done in a way, you know, that, that kiddos will enjoy. And there, there's a good, again, ratio of pictures to text. Three Musketeers. So that's neat, you know, and like with all that's going on now with like violence and video games and all of that, like give them an old fashioned classic. You know what I mean? Like let's teach our kids the classic stuff. And that's a big reason I, I, I want my kids to know these stories. And so that's neat. It's a cool way to introduce kids to those stories. B is for bedtime. This is a great little picture book that I saw uh, someone mention. And I got, I like this one. I remember in the video. Yeah, it rhymes. A is awake how I feel after dinner. B for the book with, with my dad, it's a winner. So it rhymes and you go through the whole alphabet about leading up to bedtime. That's really cute. Cute, cute, cute. I love these little illustrations too. So that's a good one for bedtime as the title suggests. Okay, so one of the reasons I love Us Born as well is the activities. Um, in a book, I mean, a video that I did about uh, my kids' church bags, I talked about how their their activity travel church bags are just filled with Us Born stuff. And this is one, a great example. Us Born Vintage Fashion Coloring Book. I mean, I, who am I kidding? I got this for myself, but my kids will still like it. Um, he hello, can we say adorable? Look at this. Oh my God. It like takes you through, it takes you through the decades. Ball gowns, look, for in different eras. Okay, so ball gowns, late 60s, 70s, 1930s. Can you guys see that? 1950s. So it shows you, this is my jam, y'all. I mean, if I had had this when I was nautical fashion, 1910, 1920, 1950s, that is awesome. So cool. So cool. So the next book that I want to share is the big book of dinosaurs. And my son in particular is super into these, Liam. And this is just really cool. I mean, it's literally a big book, but um, I'm, it just has like a lot of good, like look at that, like big fold out illustrations. Luke's with me, so not sure how this is gonna go. But um, this is cool, dinosaur footsteps. Look at that. So if you have a dinosaur fan, I think that's a good one. To, you know, it's like, it's literally a big book of dinosaurs. <laughs> this is another um, Bear Grylls book, like the chapter series that I showed at the very beginning. Um, this is Extreme Planet. And it's literally, let's see, it says exploring the most extreme stuff on earth. And so you go through, oh, that's cool, like black and white. It looks like it's like, he has like a survival guide that I'm gonna get Liam to, but this is just about um, just our extreme planet, like cool things about our planet. So that's cool. Um, lots of different info. This is like really info rich. 
it looks like. Yeah, that's cool. Wildest landscapes. Just kind of cool stuff that like might not be as well known about our planet. So um, coming from like an adventure guy, I think that's cool. Yeah, exploring the most extreme stuff on Earth. Pretty cool. Okay, this is one that Evie again requested. The Esporn book of drawing, doodling, and coloring fashion. I mean, is that not like a little girl's dream, y'all? I mean, that is so cool. See, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. They can doodle a mall, like a shopping mall. Evie is gonna pass out, you guys. Like, she hasn't seen this yet. Like, you can design dresses. Oh, that is so cool. And like, it's a good, like, little activity book. It's a good size. Oh, she will love that. Yeah, that's awesome. They can like create their own patterns and stuff. Yeah, super cool. Doodling color and fashion. Okay, lastly, I wanna share about nibbles. Y'all, like this is apparently, like nibbles caught my eye immediately whenever I was learning about Usborne books. And I got, this is a little plush. <laughs> is he not adorable? This is nibbles. And the books about nibbles, um, like basically he is a book monster and he nibbles his way through books. Okay. So he's obvious, he's always causing mischief in people's stories. And it's like, there's like kind of flaps you can open. This explains who nibbles is, but you see like they have cutouts in the pages. Is that not adorable? I think that is the cutest thing. And then, okay. Do you guys remember the book, um, was the Jolly Postman? Or like it had, it was like a, a kid's book and it had like the little letters like that you could pull out from the different fairy tale characters. Do you guys remember this? Someone needs to remember this with me. This reminds me of that because there's like fairy tale books within this book and Nibbles like messes up the stories. So like when he nibbles through, he like changes the story of Robin Hood, Jack and the Beanstalk. Oh, that is... This reminds me of the Jolly Postman. This is like Jolly Postman 2018. But Nibble, this is so cute. So this one explains who Nibbles is. And this is the dinosaur guide. So super, super cute. Um, dinosaur stuff galore. Um, and so yeah, definitely check out Nibbles. So I hope this was cool to see my unboxing. I'm so excited um, to be with Usborn. So contact me if you want to schedule a party. And um, I'm super excited about my haul. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.